Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, I thought I would take you to the shop with me because I'm about to go do a food shop. Um, I think I'm gonna go to Aldi because I've been spending way too much money on food during this lockdown. Like it's actually ridiculous how much money I've spent on food. Um, and Aldi is just cheaper. And I feel like I've been trying out a lot of different supermarkets recently. Um, Tesco, Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Asda, and it's gone to the point where I can't actually remember why I stopped shopping at Aldi. I feel like it was because of moldy fruit, but I would like to remember that. So that's where I'm gonna go. Um, but first things first, I'm gonna get changed. So this is my outfit at the moment. I kind of love, I low key love this outfit. Like it's super chill. I love this um, thingy shirt <laughs> that I got from ASOS. I'll try and put the link in the description of this video. And these joggers are super duper comfortable, like the most comfortable joggers that I've bought. And I've bought quite a few during this lockdown. Um, but because I'm leaving the house and it's pretty much, apart from work, it's pretty much all I leave the house for. And even with work, I have to wear scrubs every time, which is fine, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so what I tend to do is that when I do leave the house, I like to get dressed up. So I want to put on a cute outfit. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to wear. It might not even be that cute, but I am going to get changed. So, ready? In three, two, one. <sighs> okay, I'm dizzy and I don't even feel like this, worth, <laughs> this outfit is worth the reveal. <laughs> I just decided to go for something super comfy. So I've got my pull and bear boots which i love from asos but are super annoying because they are too narrow and um, i have quite wide feet but i've got my one pair of jeans <laughs> that actually fit if you follow me on instagram then you already know that like me and jeans we just it's been a struggle these are like a jamie fit i think it is from top shop that i got ages ago and they're the only pair of jeans that actually fits my shape then i've got this big old jacket which is from Primark many moons ago or like maybe like two years ago um, and it's just super warm because i found that it's really cold right now it's like fake sun even though the sun has been out a little bit it's like early march at the moment it's fourth of march today even though the sun has been out it's been super cold so i would rather actually just be warm than um stylish and then i've got this really nice scarf that my mum got me for christmas i absolutely love it it's just so delicate um but yeah, that is my outfit of the food shop. What do you think? Should I do like a taking the bins out outfit next time? I don't know. I will be taking my beautiful bike, Willow, to the shop. Um, so I just put all my shopping in the pannier bags and in the basket um, because I actually got rid of my car. <laughs> so I'm currently carless. Um, I got rid of it a few months ago. I've just been cycling everywhere and it's such good exercise and a lot of fun. Um, and it's locked down now, so I'm not really going that far anyway. Really keeps me within the five mile rule quite well. So um, yeah, I'll be taking the bike. got my camera <laughs> so these phone shots will have to do um it's actually Lidl not Aldi yeah there's actually not much to say in here so maybe doesn't matter that I forgot my camera I'll just go home and show you <laughs> what I bought <laughs> yeah I always seem to forget that I have to fit all this shopping <laughs> onto that bike <laughs> lord help me <laughs> I did it. <laughs> All stacked and ready to go. Oh hey friends, I am back home now. So let me show you exactly what I bought. Um, I bought some bananas. I absolutely love bananas. That's all I have to say about those. I don't tend to have a rule on fruit. So I know some people are like, 
they won't eat more than one banana or whatever um, because of sugar. Uh, however, I personally am a big fan of fruit. I think that there is much more to fruit than just sugar or fructose. Um, there are loads of vitamins, they're really healthy. For me, the more fruit I'm eating, the better. Um, but if you are obviously watching your calorie content, then it is something to consider, but I think generally most people would do well <laughs> eating more fruit. I'm, I'm yet to meet someone whose main issue was eating too much fruit. Usually there's something else involved rather than literally just, I ate two bananas. Unless you're hyperkalemic, then you might wanna cut down on the bananas. Anyway, I've got some nectarines. I'm a little bit nervous to try these because they look like they went off yesterday. That's the thing that creeps me out about little fruit is that there's no use by date. And I feel like the reason for that is because or maybe there's, I heard once that there's a way that they write it, it's in some kind of code. But why do you have to disguise it? Why can't you be upfront? That concerns me. Future Sarah here, currently editing the video. I can confirm that the nectarines were, were trash. They were trash, they were so crumbly. I did not enjoy them. I have definitely remembered why I stopped shopping at Aldi slash Lidl. I kind of pair the two um, and it is because of the trash fruit selection. I hope that clears things up. Then I got some spinach, some unwashed baby leaf spinach. I always go for unwashed because it lasts longer. I'm just gonna put that in the freezer and I'll be using it for my morning smoothies because I'm going through a smoothie phase, smoothie phase again. And I kind of like it. So yeah, got some spinach. I just love sourdough bread. I always felt like I couldn't buy fresh bread because I would never eat it in time. Um, but actually what I'm going to do straight away with this is slice it up and freeze it so then you just get the most delicious, lovely toast or bread or whatever you want to do with it. Um, but yeah, I sliced that up. I got two loaves. Oh, I don't know why I ripped it instead of <laughs> untying it. I mean, it's not the world's best sourdough, let's be honest, it's little, but it is just delicious. I really want to bite into that. I really want to bite it. This is why I love being an adult. I can do stuff like this. And who's, lock me up. Who's, who's gonna stop me? It's also one of the bad things about being an adult is that I can do stuff like this and no one stops me. Then I also got some um, strawberries, some frozen strawberries, because I absolutely love frozen fruit. It's so much cheaper as well. It'll be like one pound. This was like one pound 87 for 600 grams. And I, Actually, that might not be cheaper. I'm pretty sure that's cheaper than normal fresh fruit. Either way, it doesn't go off. You can use it in smoothies. I love sticking the, um, sticking some in the microwave and like pouring it over my pancakes. Absolutely delicious. And then I got some frozen chopped onions. I don't know if I'm gonna love this, but I just hate cutting onions. So we'll see how that goes. I got some frozen sliced mushrooms as well so I was like why should I cut them as well you know it's an easier way in life got loads of salmon um absolutely love salmon for whatever reason it seems to be the only fish that I really like which is really sad and I, I definitely think it's because I just haven't learned how to cook other fish really well without just like adding loads of oil and butter um, whereas salmon I feel like I know how to cook it well and it's so delicious like salmon skin Oh, delicious. Got some mackerel, cooked mackerel, because it's so easy and so delicious. Sometimes when I'm hungry, I just go to the fridge and I just eat one. I did get some ice cream because I absolutely adore haagen -Dazs. Praline, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that word. Um, I absolutely love that genre, flavour of haagen ice cream. So I was like, let's find out if the little version is as good. Um, so I'm just gonna put that stuff in the freezer before it all melts away and I will show you the rest of the shop shortly. Next thing that I got was this ready meal. So just like a fresh ready meal. Um, I always, always read the back of ready meals to see exactly what is in them and check for any stuff that you don't wanna be eating. So I only get ones that have like fresh ingredients. And you know, I think ready meals get a lot of slack. Actually, you can get some pretty healthy ones. And this one looks okay to me, I think, from my glance. Um, it's a shame though because I do make a really good uh, prawn linguine. However, I'm still in that phase of like not really wanting to make time to cook. So this food shop is like an easing back into cooking a little bit, but with like 
minimal effort. Um, I did get some of the vanilla ice cream in case I try the other one and I don't like it. So I know, well, hopefully I'd like that one. Frozen blueberries, absolutely love. Melt these all over the pancake. I add these to my porridge as well most mornings. I got some corn flour just because I've been making uh, soup. So I've also got this casserole soup mix. I'm just gonna make like a vegetable soup. I did also get some Brazil nuts because I absolutely love Brazil nuts. It's such a delicious snack. I have a very large sweet potato. And last of all, some tomato and basil pasta sauce. So yeah, that is all I bought. So the first thing that I do before I get distracted and forget is I'm gonna slice up my half-eaten bread <laughs> and pop it in the freezer as well as my spinach. I'm gonna wash the spinach and pop that in the freezer. Um, and then I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm not starving, starving, which is good. I really don't like cooking while I'm really hungry. Um, I don't really know what to make. We'll see. I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you so much for watching and taking a peek at what I will be eating this week. If you want more videos like this, or if you wanna see me meal prep next time, or do a what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week, then let me know in the comments. But this is just my little food shop, my little food shop, eh? See what I did there? Um, it came up to 43 pounds and 43 pence, which is rather delightfully symmetrical. Subscribe for more videos and let me know what you wanna see next. I'll see you very soon and I hope that you're okay and that you're well and I'm sending you so much love and yeah, thank you so much for choosing to share my life in this way. I really, really enjoy sharing life here on YouTube. Okay, I'll stop talking, otherwise I never will and I will see you soon. Love you so much. Bye. Like for it.